box cover. So after 20 months of waiting, the final season of Game of Thrones is finally here. Ha! The wait is over. The wait is over. The excitement and all the anticipation was are in the here. All who did a wrestle with them pipe for water and a beard out of bad pan was hard chanting. Winter is here! You ever see proper winter in a Jamaica yet? Never had been seen this yet. I dare you before my maiden take and I never see it yet. So anybody see them lie? <laughs> no man, people literally move from round robin to fish fry to 5k. I know everybody and their mother his are keeping Game of Thrones watch party. <laughs> Just give them party promoter the like two weeks and see if they're gonna start off. Soka in Westeros. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bring your queen and left your machine. <laughs> so season 8 episode 1 started out with John and Daenerys. I enter Winterfell. Or as we're right drinking would call it. Winter fell total. Winter fell. <laughs> <laughs> Me gungu. Then there comes Arya. Stand up in the crowd and I watch everybody I enter the city. You know like when you wake up a morning time and you decide so you gotta just chat people in your mind as you scroll through Instagram. Yeah man, that Arya they had to today. <laughs> I can't see where them are going so over. But watch up! Look on came and I struck Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> so it's like the people them re Johnny no, so they look on him regularly. But you see Danny, the people them are pre Danny like oh your mother look on you when you left one like a one dotty plate in the sink. Till John I forgot to tell her I said Northerners don't watch trust outsiders. Hey, me no wanna straight face round me. Me no wanna straight face round me. When then to box foot, there came this awkward conversation moment with Danny and Sansa. Like, you just know, so the two of them can't stand each other. Winterfell is yours, your grace. No, but what me want to know is, I want to go for Sansa. How come Sansa so fiery from what day? It's like from season 7 till now, she have a little extra pep in her step. Like, say, from what day up here, Whitney Houston, she I listen to. <laughs> Then Bran, oh god, why Bran just come like him lose all of him per, um, personality and come like poetic justice in motion? We don't have time for all this. Bran is like 18 from the outside and inside is all a mile, Angelo point them. Everyone in the world has gone to bed one night or another. The dead march south. So then there is Cersei now. Cersei coming like Brooke from Bold and the Beautiful. Like she's pretty and them look something about she have one like evil devil, devil sinister side where you just, you just have to her more while. <laughs> So, you know, so the little mad scientist step to her now and tell her, say, Ewa, um, the dead then broke through the wall. Now, listen to Cersei's response. Good. Our mother and our father didn't know what them did that do when they named her Cersei because the girl she bitter like, mm mm. Me nigga. So then you run now, Mr. Lord Hype now, he decides to him tired of Cersei and put him in the friend zone. So after him make sure, say, him, um, him deliver, what should he ask for him? Him basically say, yo, a time for you, kind of send on right about now, you know, kind of, you know? I was hoping we could talk in private. To which Cersei replied in what I expect going to be the caption with every little Instagram at girl where I put my name picture for the next coming two weeks. You want to buy one? You want a queen? Earn her. No, just as me give her one little round of applause for that and sticking with her pride and her dignity and her respect. By the time you could have said uterine lining, no Cersei that that shows. Ah, Jesus Christ. You might be the most arrogant man I've ever met. I like that. No, right there and then, me know that Cersei is a good as ghetto proper girl. Like, a, you know, Cersei says she want a little dominance, a little roughneck, and them little something that she like. Yeah, man, you know, like I get a good, good as girl. Them know why you say, hey, baby, them know why you say, yo, hey, girl, come here, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know what I don't understand at this point in the game, why is Cersei acting shocked said more and more people know that she and Jamie are hooked? And the Kingslayer? I don't understand why every time somebody tell her, she has to give the Taylor Swift surprise face. <laughs> So then the came and as poor couple reappeared. John and Danny riding dragons. <laughs> no, I can't believe what I live for Gussie. Me her living for Gussie, Danny I teach somebody else how to ride. <laughs> A dragon. If you are watching Game of Thrones for a long time, you can understand, yeah. <laughs> and oh yes, I'll know John and Danny don't realize that they're my nephew and auntie. <laughs> anyway, so fast forward. So Danny knows she go visit Sam and tell him thanks for finding the cure for Sir Jorah. And basically during that, um, Sam go mention him family. Same time, Danny start to pray to fear herself and say, Jesus Christ, I'm going to kill off the brother your um, family member them. And in house Tarly for generations, so it would have been mine. So Danny just casually... So heffortly decides to just go and tell um, Sam, say, yo, Jano, you know, somebody kind of use my dragon them and kind of burn up your father. And oh yeah, but they burn up your brother too. Your brother stood with your father. 
And who did he run to? No, him BFF. No, him virgin. Him good, good virgin. Mr. John Snow. And just bust out the big old secret that John is actually the rightful heir of the throne. You've never been a bastard. You are Egon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. Then there was this random doppy go scene. <laughs> The blood of Jesus is against you. Mm, mm, mm. I need some rose water for this. <laughs> so then there came Mr. Prince Charming from Shrek, aka Mr. Jamie Lannister, riding him. Okay. So he jump off of the horse and same time now he sat for a look around, kind of pretty self, because he know he must be looking out for any little strange face. Then he says the man about a little one hit it. It's like him feel something joking him in his neck and him just look forward. When him hard look at forward, guess who him got broke up? <laughs> oh, him got say broke up. <laughs> guess who him got broke up? <laughs> Not the youth who foot him broke up. <laughs> no, Brand Stark. No, earlier when Brandon said him away, for one little friend, me never did imagine said this would have kind of be Jamie. Me can't believe Jamie. If you remember, Brand back in a season one did catch Jamie and Cersei up in a one tower, kind of hook. And right as um, Bran catch them, Jim push him off and broke up his foot. And I saw the youth can't walk up until now. <laughs> so the two of them in a steering contest like when PD and the youth they did, did have for them face off. <laughs> so yeah, that was it people for season 8 episode 1 of Game of Thrones. And right about now, I have to just jump right into the spoiler alert competition. Now, as I'm telling you, this competi competition is basically where you can put up a 30 to 45 second video on Instagram or Twitter sharing your predictions, what you think we're having into the next episode of Game of Thrones. So if you are selected as one of the weekly winners, not only can you get featured here on my show, but you could win an amazing party pack filled with viewing goodies courtesy of the new Supreme Games app and delivered to you by Mail Pack Local right in time for the next episode. Plus, on top of that, you will receive exclusive Game of Thrones merchandise. So yeah, people, just remember to download, register, and play today. Visit SupremeGames.com for all of the details then. So anyway, let me jump into the top five picks of this week. Okay, so you have one from Dose of Maya, and she the kind of predicts that she feel like say, the, the siblings them are going to reunite. So let me just play that. I feel like at the end of this first episode of season eight, the Stark siblings are definitely going to reunite. I think it's time for them to come back together before the war starts. So I definitely think they're going to reunite before this episode is done. And then you have Elizabeth Godley who will share something about Cersei. I will pick up where we left off with Daenerys heading to Winterfell and we'll see her meeting with everybody. I think this episode will kind of heavily rely on um, what's happening at Winterfell and the White Walker standoff that's supposed to be going down. Then Gabby Lennox, like, should he talk about bag of things, you know, but like, I think what she did mention are things that are going to happen in the whole of season 8. I don't think any single person is going to sit on the Iron Throne. I think that maybe Jon Snow and Daenerys might rule together. I don't know if I just season one, because you know, none of them things never really happen, but good effort! Mm -hmm. And then these are the top two um, people them who I think make like some very spot on predictions for this week. So then first, you had Carol and C that said something about the Rio 19 of the Starks. Um, in tonight's episode, I think we will see uh, the reuniting of John and Ariel, and that will be really good because John and Ariel always had a good relationship, even though they don't know that he isn't really their bastard brother. But I think it will be a good way to kick off the season. And then this is the video. This is the video. The submission who me think hit the nail on the head. I feel like me no know. I feel like a shame you're gonna make way. Corona Atkins that they talk about. Just listen. My prediction for season 8, episode 1, I don't think a lot will be happening since it's the first episode, however, I think it's still going to be exciting because I think in this episode, John might find out that he's actually not a bastard and he's a Targaryen as well, the rightful heir to the throne. I think a lot of reunions will be taking place in this episode. I think it's going to be so exciting. So yeah, I think Corona Atkins are the winner, so big up yourself, big up yourself, Corona Atkins. Thank you for entering and winning the Supreme Ventures SV Games Spoiler Alert competition. No, I'm going to tell you right about now. 
do not sit a yard and just a watch the show. Join the conversation. Join me on Twitter on a Sunday night as I will be live tweeting about Game of Thrones. We want you to enter the competition. It is simple. All you have to do, I just put up a little 30 second video. Share what you think we're having in the next episode of Game of Thrones. You can enter right now. Enter. All you have to do, put up the little 30 second video with the hashtag SVLGOTSA. I'm going to put it right here, so. S-V-L-G-O-T-S-A and share your predictions and you can win some awesome prizes courtesy of Supreme Ventures. Simple as that. Mm. So that's it people. Thank you so much for watching. Spoiler alert with your boy Dutty Berry, the review boss. I hope that you enter the competition. Make sure you just use the hashtag it's right here so and share your predictions for week two. Okay, people. And remember, please game responsibly.